Greetings agents, my name is Anne Miller and I am the author of Mickey and the Animal Spies and Mickey and the Trouble with Moles. These books are about a young girl called Mickey who loves puzzles and codes and in the first book she spots a secret message on the bus home from school and when she solves it she winds up being recruited by a top secret group of animal spies called Cobra. Today I thought we'd look at some of my favourite codes from the books, so let's get started. One of the codes I really like, and one which Mickey encounters in book one, is number replacement code. And you need to write out the alphabet, and then with a number corresponding to their letter. So for example, A is the first letter in the alphabet, so A is 1, B is 2, and so on. And if you write out the full alphabet, you will have all the letters from A to Z, 1 to 26, and then you can translate your name. So my name is Anne, which is normally spelled A-N-N-E. But in number replacement code, my name would be 1-14-14-5, and that is the code for my name in number replacement code. Another code I like is the Caesar cipher. This one involves taking the alphabet and then shifting the letters. So if you move them one place, then an A might become a B, a B would become a C, and so on, and so on. There's a worksheet here to help you make a decoder to work on your Caesar ciphers. You need to cut out both the circles and then fill in the letters of the alphabet going round the circle in both the larger one and the smaller one. And then if you have one, fasten them together with a paper fastener. If you don't have one, that's fine, you can just place it on top and move it carefully. But if you do have a fastener and you can put it all together, it should look something like this. So I line them up in the starting position so that A matches the A, the B matches the B, and so on. And say I wanted to move my letters on two places. Well, I'll move my smaller wheel two spots. And now if I look at it, I can see that the A is actually a C, the B is a D, and the C is an E. And I can use this to both write and solve messages written in Caesar cipher. One of the things I love most about codes is that you can make them as easy and straightforward or as hard and complex as you like. And one way to make things slightly harder is to combine these two codes. So if you take your code wheel again, but this time you write the letters in the bigger circle and numbers on the smaller one, you can do a substitution using numbers. So in a straightforward numbers substitution, the A would be 1, B would be 2, C would be 3, and so on and so on. If I wanted to shift them, say, three places, I can turn the wheel and now I can see that A is represented by 4, B by 5, C by 6, and so on and so on around the wheel. As well as codes, I really love animals, which is partly where the inspiration for Mickey and the Animal Spies came from. If you would like to test out your code cracking skills a little further, I've got three mysterious animals hidden in the codes we've just talked about. So you can either write down the codes and solve them later, or you can pause the video and work on them now. Your first code is a regular number substitution, and your number is 12, 12, 1, 13, 1. The next one uses the Caesar cipher, and the letters have moved on one place. So to solve it, you need to find out which letter comes one place earlier in the alphabet. Your letters are N, P, M, F. For your final mystery animal, I've combined the two codes. To solve this one, you'll need to work out which letters these represent in the alphabet, and then roll the letters back one place to reveal the animal. And your numbers are 3, 6, 2, 19. I hope you enjoy solving these puzzles and Mickey and I wish you the very best of luck.